All right, and we're back, and I'm going to store a copy of this in case we want to come back to it later. Oopsies. Uh, that's actually not available in the demo, so I won't bother with it. So I'm going to be kind of working without a safety net today. No big deal. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll turn down this paper texture a bit. Just make these a little bit sharper, these, these hills at the top. No big deal. Uh, let's see, I need a little smaller pen for this. And I'm going to make these shadows here. Whoops, a little, little more detail than that. Got some these long runs of shadows, just kind of the time of the day it is. Uh, these little ditches and culverts and things here causing these little shadows. Okay, so I really want to drop some, uh, some, uh, some texture in on this. I also want to put some more trees, foliage and stuff. Before we add these foreground trees, I want to drop a few more trees in here. So let's see what we can do with that. Um, let's see if we can use one of these medias to do this. Let's see. Um, this is not pre-planned, so just bear with me. This is, uh, okay, I'm going to go to the organic effects. And there should be a thing called trees here, something like that. Simple trees, let's try that and see if that works for us. And I'm going to probably bring the size down. It's already down a bit, but let's see what we can do with that. Uh, just paste a few things here. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Actually, that's working really nice. So I'm going to use that. And just actually that's working. Whoops. Up until that point that was working really well. <laughs> and let me put some here. Over there. And then there's a bunch of this on this ground here. And I also want to put a little highlights on some of these as well. So just use a slightly lighter color. And just drop a few highlights there. Whoops. That's actually, let me see. I think I'm using the one called the uh, Simple Trees Color. I wanted Simple Trees. All right. Let's try that again. I'll just drop a little highlight there. A little too, a little too green there. A little more brown-ish. So I'll undo a couple steps here. And there we go. Okay, that's better. And I have a little bit here. Whoops. That was kind of a misclick. <laughs> a little bit here still to fill in. And I do want to get a little highlight on some of these. Uh, actually, there's some, uh, I'm not sure what kind of plant that is, but there's some red leaves on some of these back here. It's a little too bright. But pretty close. Not too bad. All right. And there's a little bike path back there, too, I see. We might want to honor that. And maybe later. <laughs> okay. So let's drop a little grass in here. And there are a number of grass medias in here. I think that's just probably just about right.
and we need a little bit of a stone texture in here so let's see what we can do uh, I believe there's some textures called stone in here somewhere let's see what we can do with those uh, this might be a little bit tricky these are very uh, see they don't look quite right we need uh, light color stones so I'm just actually just going to put these in matte mode by pressing F2 and they should be now the uh, same color as the pen color so let me undo that I'm going to go back to that purple a little bit kind of grayish purple size it out a bit I don't need this anymore and just drop a few little stones in here might want a little more spacing let's see Something like that. And then let's see. For these, I want them to be. I want to put some highlight in there, some white. So I'm gonna make sure there's no bleed on that. And I want just straight out white. Hit OK. And just start dropping those. And I'm gonna turn this opacity all the way up and make sure the paper's off for this, or the dry brush, so we can just get these little straight white highlights in here okay not terribly complicated just a lot of these little rocks everywhere and they're just really picking up that afternoon sunlight and so forth and so on and at this point we're getting pretty close to um we have the the landscape locked out at least uh there's a few other things i can do i, I want to add a little more of this orange here to bring a little highlight out here maybe like this a little oranger than that oranger is that a word might as well use that same stone doesn't really matter there's probably some rocks up there somewhere it gets the job done texture <laughs> And we're pretty close. Now we want to start thinking about uh, dropping some uh, some big trees in the foreground here. Just want to put a few more little highlights back in these shadows. I think they should be something we can see inside of those shadows. Cool? Okay. Um, and really there should be just a little little something back here of a detail on these, these mountains somewhere. Not much. Just a little something to let you know there's something on those hills. Okay. Good enough. Uh, good enough, good enough. Now, comes down to this. Are we going to ruin this painting or not? Uh, time will only tell. I'm going to come back in the next video and we can talk about that.